Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and free live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously. Create dozens of quick lists. Display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Welcome to the swing trading show. It's 12:30. Um, we have divergence on the market. The Canadian market is down 60. Was down 80 points during the French show. The U.S. market are completely flat since yesterday, so it's easy. We hit the, the top around 11. We have a support during two hours. We hit the supports this morning and we rebound on that hour. Slightly positive, so we're making new all-time high. But it's every time will be slightly positive on the Dow. It will be a all-time high until we have a real correction. So for the moment, I still we still think that it's the end of this upcy uh, uh, up cycle in, in the U.S. market. Like when we look at Nasdaq, like it seemed like a pause since I will see like February 15. We did not have a lot of movement. Same for the Dow, uh, same for the SPY. Yes, we break yesterday, but for us, it was not a, a clear upward signal that we had yesterday. So we still think that we are at the end of this bullish cycle. It doesn't mean that we will start a real correction. I just think, need, think that the market will not push in the next uh, week or two at the, at the pace of the last movement that they starts at the beginning of February. Um, TSX is in correction mostly because of the gold, energy and mining. Gold is rebounding in the last 15 minutes but was really weak today. The GLD is just down $2, the real gold is just down $2, but the gold sector is breaking down in the States because of new amount earning, and it's breaking down in Canada because of, uh, I will say, most of the stock were in correction or was breaking down yesterday or break down today. Um, so we recommend closing the gold position, HGU, all of the other and HDD could be a possibility today, and the state's dust, the UST, could be a possibility. We'll have the FOMC minute at 2 p.m. I don't think that the market will move on that. In the last, uh, all of the last uh, minutes, the market didn't move on it, but I think that the gold sector could move. If we have a new end about if we will have a rate hike in March or not, uh, it will be around 15, uh, March 15, March uh, March 14, March 15, the next FOMC meeting. So it's about three weeks. Um, and what's important with March is it's a it's a big Fed. It's what I call a super Fed because we have uh, the forecast of all the Fed member 
We have forecast of GDP inflation for the year and for the, n for the next couple of years. We also have the, the dot plot histogram with the, where the, the Fed members see the, how much number of rate hikes they see in 2016 and 2017 and 2018. And we'll have also an election of Janet Yellen. So um, last time, two weeks ago, when Janet Yellen speak, uh, they said that they will need to monitor inflation and also um, to monitor the employment reports. We had the inflation last week in the state. It was over 2%. We have the inflation today in Europe. It's 1.8. So we're not, uh, we're not um, far from the target of 2%. Um, so the inflation is picking up in every place in the world, I think, except for Canada, mostly because of the resource. But if the U.S. so if they all continue to be around a 53, 55 dollar, probably that the inflation will start to pick up in Canada too. So, uh, so I think that the first box of the inflation uh, it's checked. The next box of the employment reports it will be next week if we have another 250 thousand or something like that job creation. I think the second box will be checked, and the chance of a rate hike in March will increase a lot. At the same time. It's all about we, we have the uh, policy of uh, Donald Trump. We did not hear a, a lot uh, about him this week. Uh, I think all about will be with this tax plan. It's supposed to be end of February. So uh, we finish February next uh, Tuesday, I think. So it will need uh, to be published soon. It will be probably more in March. Like he said two, three weeks, a couple of weeks ago, but it's it's tough stuff, so it takes some time to be sure that everything is okay. So if we look at the at the U.S. dollar, it's flat today. Most of the uh, other currency are weak. Canadian dollar is the weakest today because of oil is down 1.4 percent. The gold stock are weak also. If we look at our at our Asian market, Nikkei is completely flat. Hang Seng is up 1%, there was no news. In Europe, we are flat everywhere, but we have the inflation and we have the GDP of the fourth quarter in the UK. It was again a positive data, 0 0.7 versus 0.6. So it's positive. Um, after that, if we look at the resource, so USO, it's correction and the neutral formation. Yesterday, the Canadian energy sector was breaking out, lost everything today. We could have some breakdown. It was not a good entry point. That's what we said uh, everywhere. Uh, the gas, uh, not gas. I have a news about the not gas today. And the, most of the time, the people ask why not gas was down like that. Uh, do you think it's a good entry point? It was not a good entry point yesterday at 3.30 on the gas, but it could be a good entry point today. The gas move, look, with the trader in Chicago, and um, the trader in Chicago are affected by the weather in Chicago. It's, it's stupid to say that, though, but it's true. And uh, yesterday, some meteorologists in the state said that winter is over, and traders start to looking at the summer. We're supposed to have an El Nino summer. I think an El Nino summer, it's a summer that will be warmer than a regular summer. I'm not absolutely sure about that, but it's what I think. Um, so the not gas yesterday plunged 10 percent and today is a rebounding it was not a good entry point yesterday because it was too much chance that the movement continue but today if i remove just some of the data we had an entry point just there during the french show we had another there another there and we could have another one there so if you have opened one of these uh, points and uh, on on hnu a double or u gas triple i prefer u gas for the gas but you could make some money today, and if you make 5%, 10% today, but you could take a profit and keep your position. And we could continue the rebound, and it could be a profitable trade. It was too risky yesterday, but today, see, the movement started very quietly, so it was easy to open a position at a better point with less risk than yesterday. And you close your position at the maximum at 645, 640 under the low of yesterday on the gas. So we go to the pause right now. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. 
Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Okay, so we will start by looking at the that the, um, at the resource sector. If you look at it, look at the energy. It's down since this morning. The gold, we are in small rebound right now, but it was very weak during the day. And mining also, it's weak because the big cap in the copper, Freeport, tech, first quantum are negative, and the big cap in the steel are also negative. So energy, it was a breakout yesterday. It's not far from a breakdown today. Um, I was. I don't think it was an interesting breakout yesterday. I'm not confident that it's a break, a good breakdown today, because USO is so neutral right now that we don't have enough D in the same direction and the energy. Tomorrow we'll have the oil inventory at 11. If the oil inventory and the oil rebound, the movement on the energy will rebound. So I don't recommend you to open position in the energy. But look at stuff like Sinovis that was breaking out yesterday, completely lost uh, the points. Same for Alta Gas, white cap, correction, it was not a breakout, it was just a continuity of the rebound. Uh, Cameco, weak right now, um, triple negative top. Um, Baytech, not far from a breakdown, and it's continue. So don't short the stock and the energy, but don't open long position until we have a better movement in the all or that we could move out from the neutral formation. The goal is the same thing. Goal is a breakdown today. Uh, it's a small rebound. I still think that you should close your position and the goal instead of it's, if it's a position on Barrick or Gold Corp. The two stock are the strongest one. Gold Star also is strong, but there was no entry point. And same for Pretium Resource. It's one of the strongest stock with Alastair Gold. But if you have stock like Eldorado and you didn't close yesterday, you didn't close today, you start to play with the fire because the goal is breaking down today and it's continue and we have movement Argonaut same thing we have to close Franco Nevada I know it's not lower than yesterday but do we want to wait until it will be lower than yesterday I'm not sure uh, so gold most of the gold stock you should close your position in it except if you have an, an, uh, an exception mining was rebounding yesterday lost everything today um, I want to show you the big stock. Um, first quantum, tech. Tecla, it's a stock that if we go back to 27, 26, 90, we could think about opening a position on the support. Look at what the stock did the last time he hit the supports. One time, try a rebound, didn't work, go back to the low, and the second movement was great. So I think that we could go back to the low around 27, we open a position. If we break at 26, 50, we close the position. It's very important when we open a position on the supports, on, on, H, uh, on the gas or on tech, it's very important if we break the supports to close the position because we bought, we, when we bought on the supports, we bought a weak position. So we, bu we bought on a weak momentum. So if it's break the, this, by the weak momentum could accelerate. But I think we could have a couple of these there and the next movement we could go back to around 33. So if we go from 27, to approximately 32.50, it's two, it's five dollar fifty, it's twenty percent. So there are uh, points and percentage to make and cash to make on tech, but we have to wait for a good time. The good time will be around 27. Northern Dynasty uh, breakdown completely this morning again. Open negative rebound. It was nice and day trading when we look at the stock in one minute, but lost everything after that. I really think that it's a stock that we we should just uh, I think don't trade right now. Uh, 
uh, the management was just did not give enough uh, information to refute the curious deal report that we had last week so uh, I think that the stock will continue to go lower the stock pushed very hard since the election because they think that with the uh, reduction of the environmental um, tank with Donald Trump uh, th there will be more chance of su successful project for the uh, Pebble uh, project in Alaska but with Curious Dale uh, reports, uh, I think we completely inverse the, the confidence and the momentum on Northern Dynasty. Uh, and if we look at the big cap in the States, Freeport, Freeport this will be the same strategy. Huh? If we go around 1337, yeah, 1337, it, it will be possible not to open a position, I think, on it. But if we break at 13 after we close it, so tech and Freeport are stuck to monitor to buy on the support and hope on a rebound. Uh, Rio Tinto down 1.5, BHP, the, the steel was interesting yesterday in the morning, but the movement deflated and today we just completely uh, in correction. So for the moment we don't have um, a lot of a uh, nice movement for the day. Uh, honestly, when we look at the sector, uh, um, it's more, uh, it's right now uh, with the end of the uh, up cycle, I think it's time to take profit, close the weak position like uh, the gold or other position. If you have position in the energy, I think you should monitor it very carefully. It's not the time to open new long position and it's still too soon to open short position. We could open short position and day trading like ear wide and the energy dust or HGD and the gold, uh, but not for a couple of days because the movement the, the market is too strong and we have too much chance to have a rebound right now than a continuity of the correction so it's what i think so we still have one minute i will answer the two questions that i have zcs don't forget to put the the the, the, the market on your question is a good buy if inflation rate is up uh corporate bonds I, I, I don't know a ZCS, but it's the short-term corporate bond ETF. Most of the time when the rates go up, the, 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 the bonds go down. So uh, you need to be sure that this is follow the rates and not the bonds. Because if it's follow the, the bonds, it will go down if they start to increase the rates. The rates and the value of the bonds are inversely proportional. So when one go up, the other one go down. Cali, this is on venture. It's a medical cannabis stock. It's not an entry point. An entry point, it, it could have been this morning, but if we look at the, I think that marijuana, we could be at the end of this cycle that we had. Pharmacam, we make a all time high, deflate, rebound. If you have a position, I think it's time to take a second profit. Afrio, we have it in our portfolio, is neutral. If we make a new low, we'll take a second profit on the stock. For the moment, is rebounding. Um, ACB, deflate after the opening. Uh, weed, start a correction, is rebounding right now. So I really think that we are, it's the end of this cycle. I, I think we could restart another cycle, but I don't think that the timing is good open stock and cannabis sector right now so this is it for today have a nice uh, week and see you uh, next wednesday mm -hmm.